Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today, we're gonna to be taking a tour of the Laney. Without any further ado, let's get inside and see what this beautiful home looks like. All right guys, y'all can already tell that this home is a beautiful home on the exterior. It's got a nice built-in porch, nice little jutted out room right there. We're gonna to have to go inside and see what that is. This home is 2,432 square feet. It is 32 foot wide by 76 feet in length. Three bedrooms, two baths. Y'all keep in mind, I'm not a salesman, so I do not know all the details of this home. Really and truthfully, I am somebody that just loves to tour homes. Me and my wife, we started doing this about, I'd say about 10 years ago. We just, we saw enough mobile home lots here in Alabama that we like to stop by and take a look and see what they look like on the inside. Curiosity got us. So if y'all aren't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Wow nice and airy in here that's for sure they told me that they do not have it staged yet and i told them that was just fine that i wanted to go ahead and get in here and take a look around as soon as you walk in you're greeted by a nice half bath i don't think that they have electricity on let's put the switch nope not yet so this right off of your entryway here's your door it looks like you have at least nine foot ceilings in here that's just a guess but uh, they're definitely tall. Nice big window right next to the door. And it's kind of interesting right here to the side, you've got another set of French doors that lead right to the front porch that's kind of an L shape. So you got plenty of room on that front porch to put rocking chairs and a nice porch swing. And I know how important that is here in the South. There is one thing that I'm gonna point out about these doors. This is a typical door height right here. The door, the main door for the front is an eight foot door. That is a massive door. And that big jut out that we saw off of the side of the home is a massive kitchen. And this kitchen's kind of in the form of a chef's kitchen. I mean, it's very, very workable. So I know the first thing that my wife would love would be this island. This island is crazy big. You got room to put probably three or four stools under there where you could be eating your breakfast or whatever you want to do there. The lighting that's from the ceiling Definitely goes very well. Nice built-in range hood. Instead of it being kind of steel, it's got a nice wood farmhouse look to it. Shelving above the windows, not to mention the marble style countertops. The one thing that I really like about these homes is the fact that they really utilize the plugs. If you look, you've got a plug there and there and there and there and there and there. I mean, it's like, man, you've got electricity everywhere you go. Just here in the kitchen, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plugs around this kitchen. You could plug every gadget you ever wanted to in blenders and all that fun stuff. But, anyways, you look at this side of the island and it kind of leads right into that living room. It looks like this may be a pantry right here. Oh man, look at that sink. Kind of got a double step on one side, and then a single on the other with an industrial style faucet. But I do like how there is shelving above the windows. It's so bright in here, I hope it's not washing my camera out. And that is a very nice pantry. I like that a lot. I like the floors in here too. They're a nice light wood color to them. And over here, which would be your living room, is a nice wall. It's kind of an accent wall to be able to put your TV on. So. Looks like you got plenty of room for that 70 inch TV just in time for football season. Give you a little bit of a pan shot. So I guess you could actually utilize this space right here where the French doors are for your kitchen table, all that kind of stuff. Over here you got plenty of room for a sectional. So definitely an interesting space the way that it's laid out. I mean, I can't probably put into perspective how large it is. I mean, you just got tons of room in here. There again, you got the nice finished sheet rock that's well-rounded. And instead of a straight shot galley hallway that just goes straight, this hallway goes and actually takes a turn, which is nice. Right here to the left is your, your utility room. You got a nice built-in right here to hang your coats. You do have a spot over here to be able to work on your laundry if you've got some staining issues. Looks like you've got enough room for a washer dryer and a freezer. So you can't beat that. I know that's always been one of my biggest complaints when looking at mobile homes is, well, there's no place to put a deep freeze. So the master bedroom is gonna be over here. 
guest bath. Here is another bedroom right here. Let's take a look at it. Nicely carpeted. There again, the nine foot ceilings are maintained throughout the home. Nice size closet. And these doors are really nice as well. Yeah, it's a good size closet. Plenty of room in here. Good size room. I can see my daughter being in this room without a doubt. Another thing you'll notice about this home is the heating and air conditioning is in the ceiling of the home instead of in the floor. Most mobile homes are in the floor. Here's your nice guest bath right here. There again, this is a two and a half bath home. Here is your next, I guess this could be a guest bedroom. It's really nice. And let's go ahead and take a look at the master. It looks like they've got a nice Ecobee, yep, Wi-Fi thermostat there. And it looks like this is gonna be a big bedroom, guys. Massive bedroom, oh yeah. I really like this. And there again, they did a really good job here. You got the mirror on, you got a his and her side in the closet, as well as a window to let in some lighting. And they left the top open up there, which is nice to let the light kind of flow from that window to this side. So that's cool how they have this separated for his and her. I like that you got the can lights built into the ceiling and a barn style door on the bathroom. Wow, super nice. I know that the farmhouse style is all the rage right now. You can check that out. Super nice. Let's go in here and take a look around in this oasis of a bathroom though. Y'all know this is my favorite spot. And look at that tub. Wow, that's like a garden tub. Super deep, man. You could be neck deep in the bathtub. Wow, there's a nice shower over there on that side. Here's your vanity over here. You got his and her sinks as well, dual sinks. Three separate mirrors. You look like you could probably do a little bit of makeup there in the center. And then you kind of have your toilet closet over here to the side with a nice bright window. Let's take a look at that shower. That is real tile, by the way. Plenty of room with a rain head shower. Now, I like that. The shower head is actually coming out of the ceiling instead of out of the side. For tall guys like me, that's a big deal. Nothing like having to bend over to wash your hair if you're in a short person's shower. So that's pretty cool right there, guys. All in all, it's a beautiful home. Let's go ahead and take a look in here at how much this home is actually currently priced. Now keep in mind, I say currently because these homes fluctuate. If you wanna see this home, we are at Clayton Homes in Pelham, Alabama today. This home is currently priced at $134,900. And that's really not bad at all. Really not bad, considering you're getting almost 2,500 square feet. My wife would pay that just for this kitchen. <laughs> Without a doubt, this home is one of my favorite homes that I've been in. I just love the kitchen in that front porch. I love the farmhouse style and I love the window covers that are on there with the tin, it just continues that farmhouse feel. It's a very warm home, that's for sure. You could tell with the right styling on the inside that this place would be a dream house. In either case, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this tour. If you did, be sure that you're subscribed. We do videos like this every week. And if you wanna see this home, come check it out here at Clayton Homes in Pelham, Alabama. We'll catch you guys in the next home.